<clears throat> all righty, 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 righty. Hmm. Got my layout already. How do you uh, switch over top view? Look at this. Look at how awesome this is. Palette. This palette is mostly cleaned off. It's got water, it's got section of brushes, and nice blank canvas. This is what. Oh, this is, uh, I don't know actually. What is it? 20 by 24, maybe? I, I, I'm not even sure. Anyhow, I've got a little angled it up a bit so I can see it better. That's why there's this scotch tape there. <clears throat> and just before, I don't know if you can see this, there's a, uh, there's some little dents. If you ever get dents in canvases, so this is a one half inch deep canvas, right? And if you ever get dents, the trick is, if you can see a little bit of water there, just spray some water on the back and then you can sort of massage out the dent. That's that's a trick. So there were actually, I don't know if you can see it, the, the water, water, two, three, four, five, six, all these, even right there, even in the corner, it's a little bit, um, a little bit of a dent. Just splash some water on the back and let it dry. Rub it in a little bit and voila, that's how you fix. Um, Dents on canvas. In fact, I'm, that annoys me a little bit. There's a tiny, tiny indentation here. So I'll just take some, oh, it's hot, some water, and I'll massage it right in that corner. You know, the best, the ideal way, but I'm kind of lazy, is get a spray bottle and spray it. So I'm just massaging the canvas right up there. And what's going to happen is it's going to tense up and, and straighten out. I do not understand the physics of it. All I know is it works. Okay, so I kind of, I did, uh, let me go to a different angle. Uh, focus. There's a front view. Oh, yeah. So I did that, that painting past couple days, and I, I liked it. turned out nicely, and it was, it was what I wanted, which is a um, painting I was thinking about. It was called Northern, Northern River by Hump Thompson, and what I loved about that painting always, I mean, I loved that painting my entire life, I love this painting. And it was because there's a foreground of like dark branches and then <clears throat> separation to an area where there's light water going through. And I just loved it. So, um, and when I started it, the first couple painting sessions, I, I didn't look at it because I, I told, I didn't even know what it was called. I mean, I saw that painting like maybe a decade ago. It was the last time I saw it, but I still remember the impression in my mind. I still totally got that sense. So around the, I think it was the third or fourth painting session, I actually found it online and I didn't even know what it was called. It was, so it's called Northern River. It's just awesome. That guy's a good painter. And anyway, so I'm kind of thinking, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm, I, I, I really dug that. And there's a couple other things I dug. I liked the backwash I did. Like at first I hated it because it was very peachy. Um, and, and, it, and it kind of, the whole painting was pissing me off for quite some while until I, finished covering the whole thing with a uh, paint. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. And I literally do not know what I'm, I have zero ideas about what to do right now. Normally I, I kind of, you know, I can come up with ideas. I don't lack ideas, but sometimes I just like to go without thinking at all. And this is one of those moments. So, um, you know, what's kind of cool is there's a woman <laughs> who posted a message on Facebook about this painting, said there's this place near Owen Sound. Um, I forget what it was called. She says it's just like it. And I thought that was really cool. I mean, I've been to Owen Sound. You know, I think, I'm pretty sure I had a girlfriend when I was 30 and her parents' cottage, which we went to a bunch of times, was in Owen Sound. I think that's how I know it. Because um, I kind of remember it's it's... It's up in that little sort of that peaked area, and there's a anyhow. So, um, but I mean, to be honest, a lot of uh, Ontario landscape, you know, central, mid Ontario, slightly northern Ontario, Barrie. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of similarities. I find. Well, I'm rambling, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. So she she pointed out that this is totally like something. Well, actually, I can find it right now. What did she say? I'm just gonna open up a, a browser, another browser. 
go to my Facebook page, which you which which you're on. I remember what her face looks like from her profile. Wait, is she the one with the dog? No, I think she's got blonde hair and a kind of square jaw. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to it. I'll just paint with my left hand because it really doesn't matter what it looks like. You can just you can you can paint with your nose for all, for all that matters at this point. You're just putting down some color, so I'll multitask. I'll uh, look on my website. Well, this hand. Oh, look! I can look at myself. Okay, this is kind of freaky. I'm watching myself on Facebook, paint live. That's like this really weird time loop. Okay, come on, Facebook. Okay. Keep on going. Keep on going. It doesn't let me scroll down. It's like it's stuck on that stupid wheel thing. Okay, found the post. Found the. No, I went too far. One second. Zoom it up. Click. Oh, there it is. Okay. How do you show 46 comments? All right. Click. Why isn't it showing up? How do you. God darn it. I'm going to click on the picture. I don't know. Facebook. I don't really use the Facebook website very much anymore. It's always pretty much online. Okay, here it is. Karen M. Cadwell said, Looks like a little lookout spot at Ingress Falls. On trails just before you get going. Really good on a trail. Dogs love it there. I know it's probably not, but it looks similar. That's kind of neat. It's weird, because remember I just made this thing up. And I'm going to make this one up. This is going to be another made-up painting just based on what... <clears throat> I don't know. What is it based on? It's based on... Part of it is just images that come to my mind. Part of it is uh, memories. And part of it is uh, just stuff happening. I think I do my best stuff when I don't think about it too much. You know, I just sort of let it come out. I mean, I, I feel like I'd be cheating if I did another one of those. Isn't that weird? I'm such a weird fucking... So hard, like hard on myself over stuff like I feel like I'm copying I'm, I'm copying myself <laughs> by doing the same thing. The truth is I got about <laughs> at least ten paintings. Ten paintings? Maybe yeah. Somewhere in the neighborhood of let's say seven to ten paintings that I'm currently working on, and they happen to be all really big ones. And so I'm starting a new one. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll add some colors in here. Let's just add some colors just for the hell of it. Like what if I'm really Oh, damn it. I thought I'd get some colors out of that thing. They're empty. Over here. Let's try these two. Oh, damn, that's really hard. What? Okay, so let's be a little lazy here. I'm going to get this brush. Squeeze it out. Oh, yeah, I know. I should zoom in a bit. <clears throat> we don't need to see all this stuff. There we go. But orange. I'm also procrastinating because I, I don't really know what to what the composition is going to be like yet. Just procrastinating. Hey, here's an idea. What if I did a really intense wash? I don't know if I've done that before. I've always just done gentle washes. Well. Nope. I don't know if I have enough paint to do a... Okay, screw it. All right, so let's talk about composition now, shall we? Composition, what's the composition gonna be? I don't know. Hmm. What is this painting gonna be? I don't need any, I don't need any uh, recommendations, so keep your ideas to yourself. God damn it. Where's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? 
what's gonna be who knows don't say anything please because you'll ruin my vibe man you'll ruin my vibe i'm telling you okay here's a nice brush oh here last night i discovered i got gray hair like like the whole thing was going gray all of a sudden or it's white paint. I don't know. But I thought it was like, it was weird. It was like, holy shit, that came out of nowhere. I rather have gray hair than, a, than this little, like, hair loss scenario I got. Look at that. Fuck, it looks so ridiculous. It looks like Friar Tuck. It's embarrassing. Look at that. Thin hair. Holy shit. Maybe I should just shave my head. All right. Yeah, exactly, Cindy. Keep your lips sealed. We don't need no blabbering at this point. Yeah, bird. Oh, why don't you do a moose? No, that's Cheryl. Cheryl's like, do a moose, do a duck. Fuck. I'm not going to draw any moose. Okay. I think I might want to do little spooky people and not just a regular landscape. <clears throat> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. So let's look at this. Whoa. Jesus Christ. What the fuck happened? All right. That was pretty intense. Oh, what about this? And there's a tree coming across right across here. Yes. Thank you. See, if you think about it and you talk about it, you know, you're never going to get it done. You're just going to be yapping away all the time. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. I think it's kind of stupid, isn't it? Okay. Oh, there's a big tree. I didn't really expect there to be a big tree so soon. Okay, I want to do... Yes, let's do one of these things where it's all... <laughs> See, that's what is fun. Hmm. Sweet. That, yeah, I don't know what this thing is. Is it a rock? Is that going to be a rock or should I kill it? Well, all I know is I'm definitely going to do foreground... Yeah, like another one of those dark foreground things. Oh, look, there's two trees here, two big trees. And this is going to be that son of a bitch. These come down. What about these things? Whoa, what the hell? You're insane. Okay, I think we can start painting now. But I do want to do something like down here. Like Maybe these are all like, I don't know. The last time, I always get lazy when it comes to down here and here. And I maybe this time I want to do something. Oh, look at the freaky little dude people. Oh, no. There's a person here. You know what that looks like? <sighs> this totally reminds me of, what's that painting of the Dutch girl? Wait a second. I don't live in the real world when it comes to met like stuff. Like, I'm gonna go to my website. Check this out. No, Druckman.com. Here, this is just my own, from my own source of entertainment here. How do I? I can switch to the front. Yeah, that was my computer. I'm gonna do this. Let's just see. How close in my mind it is. I did a drawing when I was a young, 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 young. A kind of, pa I think it was a pastel drawing. And I called it, is it Dutch Girl? D-U-T-C-H. This is how I entertain myself. I'm just going to type in Dutch. There it is, Dutch Girl. Oil pastel on paper. I did lots of oil pastels when I was younger. I love oil pastels. In fact, I still kind of think I'm doing more. Okay, so what I was like, I don't know if it looked like to you guys, but this, can I, can you get rid of that thing? How does that get, wait, maybe I don't use this. So here's this pastel I did when I was 17, 1987. I just sort of made it up. I was like, you know, so like some sort of Amsterdam kind of like, there's tulips. Um, can I get this thing here? No. Anyhow, unfortunately, that little... See the shape? 
that was just painted quickly totally reminded me of, of that drawing I did. Okay. That's all. That's that's all the excitement we got. Okay, let me go back to my regular view. There we go. So there's my little Dutch girl. See? Okay, let me put my things back where I want to see them. How many, yeah, I knew. You know what's funny? I knew you were going to say that and be all, ooh, you're drinking too much coffee. No, it's just me. I get all spazzy about stuff. I get spazzy and excited about ridiculous shit like that. I've only had three cups of coffee, and that was like a long time ago. Cindy. Oh, my brother's texting me. I'm busy, Miles. Okay. Oh, I gotta switch this over here. I really like your latest. Wow, that's my brother. My brother is texting me. Let me text him back. Here, I'll text him back. Uh, just bear with me, you people. Um, thanks. Thanks. I'm live. Whoops. Painting. He lives in California. So, okay. So, okay. I'm live painting now. Can't chat okay done let's let's get back to business here All right we're making this wicked ass painting all right let's do maybe I'll use this big brush if I can get the paint out I'm gonna pay for like 20 minutes right now. I gotta go, but then I can come back. Okay, so let's do kind of a green for the back for the uh, for this. Um, what's the back like the uh, blah 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 blah? What's it called? Green forest, the uh, shoreline, distant shoreline, whatever. Okay, there's that. There's a weird Dutch girl, spooky girl. And we got some green here. I'm going to totally rip off the last painting I did. Fuck it. I liked it. I liked it. But I'm going to do... Maybe the darkness is all here. Or is the darkness... Ah, oh, shit. You know, I have a, I have a problem. It, it's going to be too much like Northern River if I... Ah, I fucked it up a little bit. Northern River is very dark and heavy on this side. And it has like a tree here and has like another little tree that goes like this. The problem is I'm already started doing it too similar. Okay, I'm going to have to somehow figure this out and make it different. Maybe this – I'll have to – yeah, because people think that I'll be copying it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to copy anything. Okay, so where's the water? Okay, water's here. Or is that all of this dark? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? How many cups of coffee? Oh, yeah, yes, you already said that. Okay. Hmm. So I was right about Facebook killing my music. I mean, my video, they actually, it said before they were going to delete the whole video because it could detect too much music. So I don't know. It's very possible the third or fourth painting live session is deleted from Facebook. I might be, still be able to see it. I've got it where they've muted music, but um, it's, I think they, uh, it said we're, you know, we're going to take the whole thing down. So I don't know how it works. It's one of the things where, because I own the video, they might not, they may um, just be hiding it from, from, from you guys. But uh, I don't know. 
Don't know, don't know. Okay. Ugh. Okay. How do you think about this? Let me zoom out a bit. Wait. That's better. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. And also the colors. I mean, I did like the colors of the one before. I think maybe, what if there's like cool, like yellows? What if there's less foliage? Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I really, really liked with Northern River where it was more, it was almost like all dark silhouettes, right? And I'm gonna try to do that. And I think what I did with last time is I had like bright silhouettes. I'm sorry, bright foliage. And I thought that definitely made the vibe a little bit different. I think I want to steal a bit of that darkness in front, all darkness. So, but the question is, how do I um? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, I can make this like this over here could be light. There's a blue. Like this could all be. Oops. Oh, you know what? Okay, yeah. Okay, so if I, I should also let's do the water. So the the this will this will be the um the reflection of of the uh, what's this shoreline thing? So this will be there. We go. So I just copied the up and down. So it should be green below too. <clears throat> now the question is, do I want to? I can either make this all dark. Yeah, okay, that's what we're going to do. This is going to be all dark. All dark. Maybe if I say it a couple more times. All dark. And hopefully, you know, maybe I can put my little shadow people. Oh, look, they're having a little picnic. There's a little Dutch girl sitting there. Yeah. And then... uh. <laughs> this is a total northern rest. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe I'll add. I don't think. I don't know. I don't think there's any birch trees in, in um, Northern River. Don't one, no one tell me. Uh, don't tell me if there are or not. I don't want to know. I think that. Yeah, I don't know. So here's going to be like the um, reflecting coming down. Again, this is just very, very rough stuff. I'm just sort of like creating a composition that I think might look good. You know, it reminds me on Lake of Bays, there's a, uh, over by Dwight, there's a. Uh, is it Dwight? Yeah, it's like a, a ranger tower. And I never climbed up it. I know that. My brother climbed up it. My niece's nephews a couple summers ago climbed up it. I always meant to go climb up it just to check it out. I never have. So the ranger tower is like right here. There's the ranger tower. Boop, boop. Well, yeah, I think I was just saying I wanted yellow in the like maybe the color of this one is going to be <clears throat> excuse me in the background yeah maybe that's what this maybe that's what i'll do what i'm trying to say is the foreground will be just very dark and the colors and like because i'd be like adding some light some colors and and uh, chisel for rizzle. Okay. Oh. 
but then blue, <gasps> excuse me. My God, I don't even know. <laughs> the question I have is if the sky is white, wouldn't the reflections be white? And if I'm doing blue here, how blue is the sky? Because I know that when, yeah, hmm, let me think about this. Uh, I'm just thinking. I don't want any help. I don't like help. Just think it aloud. That's it, man. Just let me be. Hmm. Oh, did I fuck that up? Okay. All right. So then. All right. Well, I just don't. Just can't imagine what this. Oh, why is that green? That's not right. Da -da. Ooh, that's a horrible color. Yuck. I'm trying to whiten it out. I need white. Bum, bum. Actually, I like sitting down to paint. I think one of the reasons I do a lot of the paintings that are rough when they're big is just you can't, I can't uh, rest my, I can't rest my, I need to rest my arm in order to do finer work like line work it's hard to to do it when you're holding your hand up unless you have like a they have these like art sticks which are like poles that you can rest your arm against but i don't have one of those yeah, I definitely want to go and do those. Um, lots more, lots more little lines, curves, little uh, sh schnaggles, schnuggles. Mm. All right, Cheryl. No suggestions about moose or wolves or ducks. Or any kind of aquatic animal or land animal. Period. Not all suggestions about animals or all suggestions are banned. I would prefer if he just insulted me. That that would uh, I kind of like that. I like when uh, not that I'm a masochist. I just think it's funny. I like insulting my friends. We insult each other. That's how we communicate. Maybe just because we're guys. <clears throat> but Cheryl, no moose. You're not going to get a moose. All right, fine. I'll give you. Just at a bench. All right, here's your bench. There's your bench. Here's your moose. I was once on a canoe trip. Yeah, can you see gray hair? It was freaking me out. I was looking in the, it was like a whole patch. It was like the whole thing was like gray in there. Anyhow, um, what was I just talking about? The moose. Yes, I was on a, on a canoe trip once. And, oh, such a wicked experience. We were, it was my dad and his friend, my brother and his friend, and me and my friend. I was about 13, I think. I want to say about 13. And um, so me and my idiot friend, I was in the stern because my idiot friend was too immature to even steer the canoe. But we were going through these like very narrow kind of like, uh, what the, f like passage, like, I don't know what it was. It was like, you know, huge bull rush on each side, barely enough room to get the canoe or like you just go around bends. He didn't want to around a bend. Anyhow, we were in a bend and there was a fucking moose standing there. Like about 15, 20 feet away. And it was like, 
Yeah, exactly. Great hair and bald spot, I know. Look at that. Seriously. I should just shave a hole there and then pretend it's like some hipster, the new hipster look. Okay. But there's a huge fucking moose standing there. And at the time, I didn't realize moose were actually dangerous. And it was just standing there. Like, just just didn't even move. And so my dad was like, nobody move. And we stood, we just stood there and put our, what you do is you put your paddles up on, on the um, the rails and you just sort of sit there and hold them. And you bounce and, and you don't move. And we, sta we stood there. You know, we're probably only waiting a couple of minutes, but it felt like a half an hour. That's my moose story. And I just walked away. Apparently, also, hippos are very dangerous. So if you ever go to Africa, don't screw around with hippos. They will kill you. I had a friend who uh, had a friend who worked at the Toronto Zoo. And so she took us behind the scenes. And she was she worked in, like, the aquatic area. So she, she let us go behind the scenes. And we hand-fed... Were they penguins? I think I want to say they were penguins. This was like 1992 or three. And, you know, they had a bucket full of like little cute little herring fish. They're all dead. You know, and we, we hand fed. I'm pretty sure they're penguins. But then she took us to next where they had a hippo. And it wasn't it wasn't out on display or in the, the public space. It was behind the scenes. Oh, and we did two really cool things. With the hippo, it was like this old, it was massive. And apparently it was very well, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, all I know is that we were patting its tongue and it would open up its mouth and its mouth was massive and it, and it didn't even have teeth so much. It had like crazy, sharp, jagged chunks of molars. It was weird. And I put my whole arm and it liked it when you would massage its tongue and it, it could have chopped off your arm in a second. And the other cool really thing we did there is... In the same space, um, facing a different direction, was a big iron door, metal door, and one of the it had a baby elephant outside. And so we stepped aside, um, and we were feeding it uh, the baby elephant apples. Like you put it out, it grabbed it from its trunk and bring it in, and it ate like freaking like thirty apples, like it was nothing, and it was just a baby. That was an awesome experience. Uh, okay, enough. What is Cheryl's? I've I've seen them at Algonquin on the side of the road. Of course, I stopped and got a pick. That's cool. Yeah, I love, I love, um, yeah, moose are awesome. They gotta say, I love elephants. They are so cool. All right, I better accomplish something because I gotta go in a few minutes. I just gotta go and I can come back later and paint. But I think I also have to go and rebuild my palette because. This stuff is actually mostly used up, so I don't really have a good, don't really have good um, paint on my um, my thing here. <clears throat> okay, so why don't I go with purple just for the screw it, just for the hell of it, and this dark purple or green? Well, well, green might be more available. Here's green. All right, so let's just go and darken this space up so we'll have a, an actual carpet sorry there's your moose bye my moose the paint over your bench too ha ha sure no bench for you oh maybe i'll do that light thing again okay yeah i'm gonna put a bit of light wait if these things come maybe they come over here I don't know. Okay, maybe this will be like lit up again, just because that was kind of nice. And that was a fluke. I I, I think I, I didn't even intentionally put light there. Maybe I, I I think it was just sort of brightness, and I just went with it. So okay, if I'm gonna make this whole thing dark, there has to be something interesting here. I mean, I can do. Maybe maybe that's a thing. Is, is all it's all the I see dead people. They're all just sort of like here. Whoa, what are they doing? It all comes from a um, probably drunken experience. I can't remember. I thought I saw my ancestors hallucinated basically when I was being a a edgy 25 year old artist painter living in a studio 
I'm going to warehouse with my heroin addict superintendent next door with his two Rottweilers playing let he would he would almost every night almost every night play white zombie too human for more than human if you don't know that song at like three in the morning and he would just blast it and he had speakers that would just shake the walls so I would be almost anticipating it at a time I you know sometimes it was kind of fun I'm almost like oh all right I like that song <laughs> and I would be up at three three uh three in the morning but not me anymore. Now I'm like I like I like my I like quiet and <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> what apples? So cute with the apples. Oh, the elephant store. Yeah, sorry. Woo! Oh, wait, that's not right. No blue. Well, yeah, I don't want blue. Why is blue there? Your connection to live stream. Use the live stream software. Or connect your live stream to the live API. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. There's something weird going on with, with um, Facebook recently. It's like, um, I think it was yesterday. No, no, I was teaching yesterday. The day before, so it was uh, Wednesday I was filming or streaming or whatever you want to call it. oops and it was giving me weird messages the screen was getting all blanked out and i don't know so here's kind of what i'm thinking i would love to take the beauty and brilliance of tom thompson and then put my own it's like i'm absorbing his a masterful stuff and then making my own thing with it like like for example these abs look at all these cool little abs like figures you know maybe that's that's maybe that's my thing you know because it's very important i don't copy like that i'm not like uh, just following somebody else i always have to do my, my own way i have to it's like part of my dna i can't Five minutes and I gotta go. I mean, that's okay. Actually, this is okay. This is a good first kind of, um, a good first lay down. Good first pass. I like to call it. Yeah, so I'm gonna do lots of, lots more, like lines flowing and, you know, that kind of stuff. Maybe there'll be like a bit of openness here. No, because that's too much. Like, if you look at Northern River, I, I'm pretty sure it's more vertical. Like, I think it's like mine is horizontal. I think his his is vertical, and I believe it's got like a one. One tree here, and one little tree goes across, and a bunch of trees over here, I think. I think, okay, I could, I could do this. I could do heavy here, here, and then open here. Or is it better with, no, I think I like it, uh, no, I think I like it with with the trees going right through it. Yeah, it's kind of like you're you're behind the scenes. Like maybe I'll make it so, unlike his, I maybe it feels like you're sort of poking, you're kind of poking through a bit more. Yeah, I like that idea because I've done that where you're sort of you're on you're just hiding in the shadows of of of. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of being on, on this island in um, McMurtry Island by my little family's cottage where I used to go exploring. It was just the coolest place to go explore. All right. Why don't we just 
stop here because I got to split. Yeah, I got to go. All right, good first. Is it good? Hmm. Something is uh, something's not right over here. So maybe maybe it's a it's good to have a little break. Oops. Yeah, something something over here feels a little off. Maybe it'd be nice if there, there was more white over here. To, ah, okay, let me just do that while I'm thinking about it. This is a quick, just a little test of Rooney. Like, what if, what if there was more brightness showing, like, right across here? Rather than just this little corner like I did in the other painting, where, where is it? It's, like, behind me somewhere. There was brightness that went right across. That could be kind of nice. Okay, that could work because that's maybe where I'll do a lot more of the um, a lot more of the uh, black things showing through. Okay, I also got to figure out what to do with the sky. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, is this like what is this little piece of what is this little stretch right here? Is it sand? Is that what it's going to be? Or kind of like the other one where it's like light? Who knows? That's what I just did. Maybe there can be like um, along the bottom here, different kinds of colors and stuff. And then maybe I'll have like even little trees on the back or in the, in the horizon, but not the horizon, whatever the fuck this thing is called, this uh, back. Uh, bunch of foresty thing back there. All right, I think that's a good place to stop. Cheerio, I'll be back later probably.